Come on, hey everybody, what's up? Yeah, it's me, Rasta Blue, back here with Dirt Proverb. Thank you very much. Also, Modern Deism. We might be on one of both channels. Don't know. How you all doing, man? Rasta Blue here. So, you know, I've been, uh, I've been marching in the background, you know. I see a thing going on here now with um, Christopher L. and Dumak and uh, Sister Sunshine Yoka, all the drama, you know. I'm not like in and out, you know, I'm watching, you know. But, uh, you know, a couple of videos caught my eye. Uh, Christopher L. wants to forgive and forget and for John. Very noble. Very noble of you, Christopher. Uh, Duma kind of criticized Christopher for all this stuff that happened with Yoko, you know, the way he is, you know? So, yeah. Sticky situation, I must say. Sticky situation. But you know what? You know what? It's nice. It's springtime. Yeah. Springtime coming. You know what springtime means, right? It means uh, time for new beginnings. You know, the winter, a lot of things die, gotta die off, and new beginnings. And uh, you know, new beginnings sometimes, you know, only gonna come from pain a lot of time, pain and hurt. And uh, you know why a lot of people hurt each other here on YouTube and in, uh, in, in your real lives, you know, when you actually see people. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a saying I used to be uh, told that uh, hurt people hurt people. You know, so that's very true. Hurt people hurt people. And that's why you go it's back and forth. Now, let me get to this uh, thing, Christopher L. with the forgiveness. Very noble. Very Christ-like. I know. You're a pacifist. You go the 490 times, you must forgive somebody. Right? I don't know, 70 times 7. Very noble. But I think that on Dumak, what he's trying to say is that... Uh, there's also in Christianity accountability, you know, you know, like you would bring a brother to repentance to the uh, one or two witnesses, and if they still continue not, they they throw him out of church. Yeah, treat him like a heathen, you know. So I, I think you're both right, Christopher and Dumak. You're both right. Chris, forgive. Yes, we need to forgive. You know, get rid of that poison inside of us, that uh, unbitterness. You know, it's a good thing, you know. You, you do it more for yourself than anyone else, even if the guy still wants, if someone still wants to act like an asshole. Eh, what can you do? But you don't have to associate with him, you know. And uh, maybe you and uh, your cup uh, did patch things up and that's good. You forgive each other, you say you're sorry, good. And uh, how everyone else has to deal with it, you know, they've been hurt too, just to realize that, Chris, you know. So, you know, if you want to defend, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta defend your brothers and sisters, you know, what is right. And, uh, you know, Yoko need to be told that. You know, one person here, one person there telling Yoko, uh, everybody telling Yoko about video. I know, it's all going back and forth, and there's a lot of hurt. And uh, the focus is coming off. I, Chris, you're very, and you're, you're right. The focus is coming off now what your mission is here. For a lot of Christians, and I think you're trying to refocus them, and that's pretty good. Now, I want you to read in the uh, end of Acts, chapter 2, into Acts, chapter 3. And um, there you see that the uh, disciples and the apostles, they were all in one accord. One accord, it says. All, in, had all things common, sharing with one another. And you know, as the story continues, because they met each day in the, uh, the temples and pray. The story goes, you go into chapter 3, and Peter and John are coming night hour to pray in the temple. They see the lame man, uh, they don't give them money, but they heal them, right? The lame man walk. Do you think there's any correlation, you see? Maybe because the Christianity has no credibility because it's so much division. And uh, you need the more the unity. I'm not talking about, hey, we all got our own opinions about things. But uh, unity, let's be realistic, is not uh, being everybody free of error and uh, walking in the total absolute truth. I mean, that's impossible. But unity can change a lot of things and it needs credibility. And when the early church had unity, mighty things happen. No, mighty things are not happening now. No. A lot of this is false. And you know, you see on TV. Right? 
but uh, you know, I like to see somebody raised from the dead. That would be a really good. Uh, that would be a really good thing for Christianity. Actuality, proof, evidence. I'm gonna see somebody dead for 30 days and come back, not for uh, eight uh, minutes or an hour or eight hours. But uh, anyway, Chris, keep up the good work. Noble, do mark I know. Hey, be a little easy on Chris, you know. Okay. You want to forgive, then batch some things up, him and Yoko, fine, let it be. But, uh, you know, unforgiveness just hurts the one's own soul, not anyone else, so, you know. But you must make people accountable, though, Chris, you know that. How many times would you allow somebody to slap your kid until you finally step in and hold a hand? That'd be love, right? And defense. Well, you know. You know, how many times you're gonna turn the cheek? I don't know. But your accountability is very important. There's a balance in life. Everything's a balance, everybody. You know, balance. All right, I'm much, much over 10 minutes long. It's Rasta Blue. Good to see you all out there. Happy springtime. Happy St. Patty Days to our Irish friends out there. And uh, God bless you, man. All right, take it easy. <laughs>